My name is Tambuzai Matsumure. I'm the program manager for Women Empowerment based in Harare. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Tebe, the Regional Design Monitoring Evaluation and Learning Officer within HEDIS. Hi, my name is Gigi Wing Davies. I'm the Climate Justice Business Development Manager for HEVOS. My name's uh, Kelvin Kapsula. I'm the Knowledge Management Program Officer under the Regional Sexual Reproductive Health and Rights Fund uh, Program. My name is Kozai Dongo and I'm the Global Finance Officer for the Resource of Open Minds project here at HEVOS. My name is Susangane Nantoka and I'm the Country Manager for People's Malawi. My name is Shufrezi Chongwan. I'm the Finance Assistant for APSA. Hello, my name is Shamiso Maomba and I'm a Project Officer at HEVOS under the Resource of Open Minds program. Well, I think youth voices uh, need to be heard because if we look at our uh, population demographics at the moment, youth are the largest uh, number and even this is, applies to Zimbabwe and the African continent and therefore they do have uh, a stake in what decisions are made. So youth need to also have a voice. We are talking about things that will impact and affect them in future and they need to also be part of the decisions that are made that will affect them in future. Young people I think uh, have a stake in the future. Youths are the ones who will inherit and shape the future. Their perspectives are directly relevant to the world they will be living in. So their insights can help us uh, guide decisions that will impact their lives and generations to come. Young people are very creative. You know, the more knowledge you have, the older you get, you actually can lose your creativity. And there's a wonderful, a wonderful educator, I suggest you look him up, called Sir Ken Robinson, who did some research which um, suggests that when you are about age five years old, you are using 80% of your creative potential. By the time you reach 12, this is down to 2%. I mean, how the rest of us are functioning in old age, I don't know. But anyway, the, what I'm saying is as you get older, your creativity can dwindle. So we, we need creativity in the world, and we've got to really harness that from young people. People possess the skills, uh, the capacity, but also the passion to drive major change movements uh, in our local communities, in our countries, but also uh, on a global level. For me, International Youth Day means we are giving the youth the voice to be able to decide what they want, how they want it, and from whom they want it from. This means the youth participate in strategic uh, decision-making processes as well as policy-making. Overall, International Youth Day means the youth have the power to decide. I think we are focusing on the youth voices because they symbolize hope, resilience, and innovation. Uh, the youth challenge the status quo, provide fresh perspectives, and they are at the forefront of tech service solutions. Like under the room program where we are working with content creators, we have regularly witnessed the impact that is having on our young content creators. We are empowering them and it's contributing and driving towards progressive communities. So I think uh, it's good to celebrate the Youth Day because it means a lot for the youth, their voices, they are not just the future, but they are actively shaping the present. For me, International Youth Day is the day where a light is shone around uh, the youth in the world. Uh, basically, we the youth, we constitute uh, a larger percent of the population. I think here in Zimbabwe, about 6 to 7, they are about the same. So, it's a very important day to shine a light on us as the youth our contributions within the society. I think International Youth Day serves as a reflection of the work and progress accomplished by young people worldwide and to celebrate their contributions towards creating positive and impactful change. This day can serve as a platform to advocate for policies and initiatives that support youth involvement in innovation, access to information and protection of their rights. Passion will take you a long way. Yes, you might come across a number of stumbling blocks, 
blocks but don't give up uh, continue to do what you love best if your heart is in it you you will actually find a way to get things done and also I think just as a reminder that uh, there is a lot to learn from those that have come before you go back read so that you know where you're starting from a lot of the work that you're doing you're not starting from scratch it's building from somewhere so learn what has been done before and then you can in that way you know how to better return do things better um, the message that I have for the youth out there is that let's be proud and embrace our diversity for equality empowerment and for sustainable change I would I would urge everybody but young people especially to to keep a critical mind question everything you are told don't just believe everything you are told just because it's from an older person or from that you know question interrogate do your own research come up with your own opinions but also keep an open mind and be prepared to change your mind one sure way if you want to become old quickly just get stuck in your ways and don't change your mind so, so that's what I would just encourage. Keep an open mind. Have a critical mind. Do your research. So I would like to encourage all the young people out there to harness the power of digital technology to promote their voices and work towards creating a more inclusive and empowered sustainable world. As Thomas Sankara said, dare to invent the future. Well, I think to the young people out there, uh, the young professionals and activists, uh, my advice is that we should embrace the green skills as more than just knowledge. Uh, rather, we should see it as the essential tools for crafting the future that respects both the people and the planet that we work with. Uh, in our quest for financial sustainability, I think it's also important to also consider environmental sustainability. So our actions should determine the leaders that we leave behind. Thank you.